Hey, Tubby, you over there? Yeah, I'm over here. I got a cool to? little thing to show you here, Tubby. What do you got to show me? From, uh, I should look at his name. This is Adam the Machinist. He has some fantastic videos up here on YouTube. But what this one Adam was the do? first one that caught my eye. He made high-resolution precision machinist jacks out of a couple of off-the-shelf nuts and bolts and things and some 3D printed parts. 3D printed parts. That sounds exciting. It, it, that's, yeah, that's what caught my eye. A machinist jack what? is usually... It's basically a nut and a bolt. You, if you need to prop... Like, like say you were going to put a... You know, put a part in a vise and you needed this top to be level with your machine, with your tool, like your router or whatever, you, yep. know, you might have to tilt it, right? So you might prop up this end that doesn't have any support, and you would turn your screw down here to, you know, very much like on your 3D printer, you know, when you screw the four corners to, yep. to tram it up? To level the bed, yeah. But he needs something very precise, where... You know, we make one full turn and it goes up like two millimeters, and that's there's not a lot of precision. And I thought this was fantastic because maybe because I'm not a machinist and I don't understand any of this stuff, and I could see it. Do you see it there, Tubby? I I see it there. He has two threaded parts. The top thread is metric. Well, I, these could be backwards, but it doesn't matter. One of the threads is metric, and the other one is American, so they don't match. So when you, when you turn it one way, the American tightens and the metric loosens. Okay. And the other way around. So one is, uh, and they, they don't line up, so one is always chasing the other. So one full rotation doesn't give you a full turn of the screw. It gives you the difference between the top screw and the bottom screw. And the difference is very tiny. Interesting. I wish I was smart enough to do a diagram of this, but you should check Adam the Machinist's video out and he'll actually show you how this works. He, you know, he demonstrates it. But the only reason the 3D printed parts are there, Tubby, is to put tension on this so it doesn't want to wiggle. You know, okay. the, you know when you put a screw in loose, it has some play yeah. to it? This takes up all that play. It just pulls them together. But I've been watching some of his videos. He has some fantastic information his video his audio and video quality keep improving he seems to be pretty new here at youtube but he's doing a good job adam the machinist he's up at almost nine thousand subscribers hopefully we get him up to ten thousand 